Can I tell you guys a story? Okay, I was pregnant before you guys. <gasps> Yeah, I know, right? I think Sephora knows this, so she's just trying to. Is this breaking news? I heard rumors about yeah. it. I didn't hear it! <laughs> so I got pregnant, but I didn't. Abing, ah, Abing. No, Boy. actually, he was, he's Ponytail, actually. Yeah. No, he's fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but you were at such a young age. But I was just yeah. like too young. So How old were you? 14. Wow. Well, 14, I just turned 15. And like the whole school found out, and everybody like. How did they find out? Because I told like two of two my best friends, and I guess one of them like. Oh, oh snake. Yeah, it was terrible. So did you tell your mom? So like, uh, yeah, my mom. Oh, you needed her was, consent, right? My mom was mad. Like she was not okay with it. Mm. But I think that's why I started so hard for all levels. I started so hard for. You're gonna cry. No. And I made sure that I like got my degree and everything because I was always like in the back of my head I was always motivated by the fact that I was living at someone else's expense. Mm. Because my mom's excuse for me not keeping the baby was she said don't keep the baby because you need to finish school. You can't stay in school mm. if you have a baby. Yeah. You know school expel you. So you had the intention to keep the baby at 15? Uh, yeah because I'm done, I'm 15. Uh. During your wedding, right, do you feel like... I mean, because you're obviously getting married for a child. No, I'm not getting married. <laughs> because of the child, not for no, the no, child. No. No. no, 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 no. Like, I, I did mention... It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. So we're gonna date. You wait. Shit. So you wouldn't get married this early if the child wasn't there. Okay, not la. true as well. And my relationship life has always been very shitty. It's either I'm on like one end of the spectrum where I, I feel bad for hurting someone or I will feel very hurt yeah. by someone. I forgot what was I saying. Uh, where was that? Something so? about... So? Something about... Why is it that I keep getting the same shit? Was because I was never fully recovered. I think the longest between the nine years that I ever had a gap was like two weeks. It's always like either talking or like hanging out or that's like true. anything like okay. So I relate. Yeah, that, that, that's the thing. And I think it's the Aquarius thing. It's just what? Like, I, I never say sleepy. Yes, I'm a little you can just sleep. <laughs> I'm sure it's the same for you. No yeah, la! Please yeah, love you, you fucking yeah, I got <laughs> yeah. I think you that is like I haven't dated in a long time with <laughs> How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. Because of that, I've never taken a break. That is the reason why like I've never like been cleansed. <laughs> and it was only until my current like husband that I kinda yeah, and there are a lot of things where I, I was basically at that point in time you, you feel like you want to be selfish when I mean selfish as in like there are so many things you have to consider when it comes to your personal life like I think I'm ready to have a child financially but I don't know why I'm too selfish to give up like the life because mm. like for example I, I love kids right I have, I have four or five god children and, and other niece and nephews and babies in my life and I really, really enjoy like having fun with them. But at the end of the day, when I'm tired, they're tired, I hand the, the child back to their parents, right? And I go home and I shower and I sleep. But then I realise the, the parents will then have to feed the kid, shower the yeah, kid. And then like... they hope to God the kid wants to sleep. And if the kid doesn't want to sleep, then you wait another two more hours. Like that's rinse and repeat every day for the next... God knows how long. Okay. And, and that is what scares me, you know. I've heard of cases where like the parents are not ready to have the kid, then they get married, then that like the mom or the dad doesn't take care of the child or they just leave the kid at home yeah. like a maid. Mm. If I do ever conceive and have a child, I want to have my kid to have like the best life possible. Like if I'm not ready for that, then I don't think I would like have my baby lah. The thing that has been worrying me is how it will affect me and my um, husband's relationship. Yeah. The, the guy might feel like, oh, you know, I have you already, and then like, mm. you know, I don't have to do anything. Yeah, I don't have yeah. to do anything. And I feel like it tends to happen a lot. Mm. I feel like it's like the love will come to a stop. As you know, to a stop, it will fade away, but com commitment keeps you guys like, mm. together. Uh -huh. So your date nights will go away. Your whatever fuck nights or like sexy nights will just go away. And you need to accept Sex. that. No, <laughs> really different for some other time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think one of the things that I hope to remember throughout my fatherhood, if it does come right, is that even though you all have children, like the marriage comes first. 
if you had to pick between your child and your your partner, mm, who would you child. pick? My child. Hands down. I don't know why this marriage comes first thing. Who said yeah. that? Because, because if you all work on your relationship with each other, it's then... It's like a nurturing environment for your kids. Correct. Then yeah. your kid will grow up more. Yeah, like how to love properly and what's yeah. like a proper relationship. Well, what if it's just like a one-person thing? Maybe the, the wife tries and the husband doesn't, or the husband tries and the wife mm. doesn't. And you know, most of the time when you bring this topic to the table, right? Like, you know, I think you've been acting different at all. Like, usually, the other party will be like, No, I've been the same. Mm. No, I've been trying. Mm. No, but I feel like if the guy says, like, Oh, how different are we? Then the girl will just say, yeah, this is very different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's and then the conversation ends. <laughs> <laughs> then, like, then you tell me how different am I? You're just different. La. Then that's how the fight starts. So you're saying marriage comes first that you should work on the marriage, but I've seen so many couples that are obviously not happy together. <laughs> Oh, that's why like, they stay yeah, together like, the But they stay together for mm. the child. I don't understand yeah. that culture. Yeah. If you look at the child of your life, there's bound to be growth. Mm. And if at a certain point you and a person are at the same point, and in like 50 years you guys are at the same point, then does that mean like neither of you have grown? Do you know what I mean? I feel like people outgrow each other. Mm. So I don't know if it's worth it to stay together for the kid and I don't think it would really help. What kind of parent do you think you'll be? I would say I, I want to be my kid's best friend. Because like I think communication is the key to every 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 relationship. But the but the part about being a best friend, the line that's hard to draw is like you um, cannot go like too overboard because yeah. after all you still I mean there are certain things I, I would think as a friend I don't wanna know. I just know for sure that I wanna raise my, my child not as a typical Asian like parent. Stupid! Why are you so stupid? So stupid! More of a mutual respect yeah. kind of thing. Like you don't say like you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. It's more like do you think what you did was mm. right? Mm. It's like you make them reflect and like they will open up to you more rather mm. than always like Jumping making them off. feel like they are always in the wrong one. So mm. my child's character and like the person that he or she grows up to be is more important mm. than anything else. But I just want to make sure that Whatever he does or whatever she does, he or she grows up to be Seamless. like a good person. Yeah, a good person. Yeah. Like that's that's the most important thing. So we've come to the end of this episode. I hope you guys like it. We like to thank Mimi for coming on board the show. We wish her the best for her marriage and for the baby to come. Remember to like it and share this video. And tag a friend who might be pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> that was not what we said, <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, we're <laughs> done. Goodbye. <laughs> Would you teach your guy son how to fuck? Bruh.